Hey guys, what's up? It's Anjaneo with another video for Barkerball. Today's game is going to be a game to five between me and Mr. Barker. Here we go. As always, the scores will be at the bottom of the screen. My score will be in the bottom right-hand corner, and Mr. Barker's score will be in the bottom left-hand corner. Here we go. Right now, we're Barkering it, getting ready to see who's going to serve. Um, I'm serving it. Here we go. We have a lot of cross-court action going on here. Um, <clears throat> I see the great backhand, and Mr. Barker hits it back. Right now, he does a curve shot. I, I get it over. And right here, Mr. Barker does a backhand to the other side. And as I mentioned before, this, uh, this round is more of a cross shot, and he's trying to get it over. In this case, he couldn't get it over. It was my point. But generally, that is a good idea and a good tactic because it makes the opponent run around. And right here is another hit. Um, so when it rolls off the box like that, it comes back to the, you know, the same person size as it did with Mr. Barker. He's allowed to hit it back. In my opinion, I feel this is a little controversial and a little cheat, cheat, because if he, he could have easily capitalized on that. And if, it, and if it rolled off the side, he can just do a killer hit to my side and I couldn't have gotten that. I personally don't think it's, <clears throat> if it rolls off the box like that, I personally think it should be a redo. Um, if it doesn't land back on their side, if it just rolls off like that, but um, we're still deciding on that, but it, it's super it's super convenient when that happens, but not for the opponent because they have no chance of getting that hit. Mr. Barker serves, sir. Ugh, the point is one all. All right, he does a backhand. He couldn't get it over. Right now, it is going to be my serve. One all. Here we go. All right, he's, I serve it. Mr. Barker does a backhand back to me. And right now, I'm at the table. So right here, um, typically, that is a pretty smart move to make. But my feet were past the line. And I literally just leaned over the table to get it. Um, you can't see he couldn't he couldn't get that. Um, typically, you, you you can do that kind of shot if your feet aren't past the line. But since my mine was, he gets the serve. And if he if and if it was his serve the previous round, he gets the point. But since it was my serve, it just switches sides. That's all. Mr. Barker serve 2-1, and he does a killer serve. He couldn't get it over. It's my serve, 1-2. I missed that. It is 2-1 again. Okay, so that serve uh, was really fast. I couldn't, I couldn't get that with my body block. It is 3. It's going to 3-1, Mr. Barker. 4-1, um, Mr. Barker. And I, I just got that over. Um, he, I, do, I do a forehand. Mr. Barker does a backhand. I do a little arc. Mr. Barker does a curve over the edge. And that was a great shot, by the way, because... The way he curved it, it just immediately lost its momentum when I when it got to my side. And as you can see, if you go back in the video, I couldn't get that because I wasn't anticipating that lack in momentum. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.